Manchester United looking fresh in training. Bruno joins Ralph Ragnick in the press conference and the Champions League returns for Man United tomorrow. Champions returns. Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football. And today's video is a match preview, news discussion and update discussion ahead of Manchester United's game tomorrow in the Champions League. I'm so, so excited. First of all, guys, I do apologise for not being live tonight. I was really looking forward to doing a Champions League sort of themed match preview live stream, interacting with you guys, but I am literally ill. My stomach is eating me, like, on the inside. My gallbladder is playing up. Like, I can literally talk for about 10 minutes and then I have to lie down. So I'm resting, hence why I look a bit dead. So I am sorry, but fingers crossed I will be live tomorrow night for the watch long. I am so, so excited. I will be live no matter how much pain I am in tomorrow. We will be live. So smash a like, smash a subscribe. I will reply to comments because I, I know I'm not doing a live stream. So I'm going to reply to comments and let's get in to the Champions League preview. We've got some news. We've got some discussion points. We've got an elite lineup for tomorrow's game that I've been sent as well. Uh, so let's get in to it, guys. And honestly, I am so excited. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is club legend sat mid-season. That happened to Chelsea last year. German coach appointed. That happened to Chelsea last year. Draw athletic image of now in 16. That happened to Chelsea last year. What else happened to Chelsea last year? They won the league. Who will, who will be signed? Ronaldo and Varane. Four times, four times. Now, I am playing that. Well, I'm not really, but I am. But, you, you know, let's get into the video. So, Bruno Fernandes, guys. Uh, before I even get into the Champions League shit. Bruno Fernandes this season has 33 appearances, has 22 goals and assists without taking a single penalty. Yet he's having a bad season and yet he's still a pen merchant. So if you are a Manchester United fan and you do not rate Bruno Fernandes, grow up with your, oh my God, I don't like Bruno because Pop is better. We like Pop, but we like Bruno. We don't compare them. Bruno is a fantastic player. And talking of fantastic player, Bruno, in my opinion, he should be Manchester United captain. The way he spoke about the, the leaked reports earlier in the week, the way he spoke about Harry Maguire, the way he speaks out about situations, he makes it so clear. You know, he was asked about the post of him standing between Varane and Bailly and saying he feels safe. And he explained that it wasn't a dig at Maguire. Like, everything Bruno does, a Man United is so clear. And I just think he should be captain. And Bruno was involved in a press conference today with Ralph Rannick ahead of the Atletico Madrid game. And Bruno Fernandes says having players who can decide a game at any time is useful. And when he talked, when he was talking about Ronaldo, saying that Ronaldo can just win you a game any minute at any time, it's really, really useful. But he also says we have Rafa Varane, who's won the Champions League four times, and they're very, very hungry for success. And Bruno talking about the impact of Varane and Ronaldo and how that's going to influence us in the Champions League because. We've got people that have won the Champions League. We've got that experience. We've got Champions League winners in this club. You know, that's something Man City can only dream of, you know. And that was hopefully going to give us that push onwards. Bruno also spoke about rumours regarding Ralph Ragnick. And he said, here at the club, he's never heard anyone complain about Ralph Ragnick's tactics. And he hopes no one does because it's disrespectful to the coach. So, big up Bruno for saying that. Do you know what I mean as well? And Bruno also spoke about Cristiano Ronaldo saying he has that smell for goal. You know, he is a top, top player. And I tell you what, you know what? Bruno, Sancho, Pogba, Varane, Ronaldo. That is just exciting. And I think we will beat Atletico Madrid because a lot of people don't realise this. Um, and now I, look, I don't want to sound too cocky. It's Manchester United. We've been dropping points to some crap teams. And, and Atletico Madrid have been crap lately. But Atletico Madrid, they lost to Levante. He was like bottom of La Liga. They lost uh, to Barcelona. They lost to Real Sociedad. They lost to Athletic Club Bilbao. They drew two with Villarreal. They also lost to Granada. They also lost to Sevilla. They also lost to Real Madrid. Athletic and Madrid are in worse form than Manchester United at the moment, which I think kind of gives us a little bit of an advantage going into that game, if you want my honest opinion. And um, also, we've got that good win over Leeds going into the game. And Bruno Fernandes says, obviously, going into the game, this is a very, very important one. Manchester United know that this game is a very, very important game. But Bruno said that Man United had this confidence of winning this game. He says he feels more prepared to this game. He says if we stick from the plan from the first minute to the last minute, he feels very confident. Bruno said that Man United have been playing very, very well lately, even in games where we haven't got the three points. And he's absolutely true. And what I like how Bruno's come out and said is, yeah, we're playing well. You know, we can see that Ralph Radnick's plan is working. If we stick to Ralph Radnick's plan, he believes we can beat Atletico Madrid. And I love that Bruno's saying that because the disrespect to Ralph Radnick and the leaked reports by allegedly some players has been quite infuriating. So it's quite nice to hear a player like Bruno Fernandes speak out and go, we are confident. Look at the way we've been playing. We can see the progress. We can see Ragnick's tactics. 
Bruno fully backed Ralph Rannick publicly and said, if we stick to what Ralph Rannick's plan is from minute one to minute 90, he is confident that we can beat Atletico Madrid. And so am I. If United do what they were doing in the first half against all these teams for a full 90 minutes, I'm confident that we can beat Atletico Madrid. I, I really am. I think, you know, the problem with Atletico Madrid is they are boring, negative, defensive, shut up shop team, which we seem to struggle against the low block. But with the way we're playing, that's more expansive. The Sancho, Pogba, Bruno, having three creative players instead of just one means we can unlock them. And then, yeah, I think we should uh, win that game as well. Ragnick says um, regarding the Atletico Madrid game, and he was talking about the lineup of players that will play. Ragnick said that he had to make sure some players could recover and there will be some fresh legs on the pitch tomorrow. And I've been sent a lineup from a source. Um, and this is a source that I've not spoken to before, so do take it with a pinch of salt. And he says that Tellers is going to start left back, which I thought was interesting. And the lineup he's told me that he believes is starting and he's heard is starting is David De Gea in goal, Deleuze at right back, Varane and Maguire as the two centre backs, Tellers at left back, and McTominay is the CDM with Pogba and Bruno. Uh, Rashford, Ronaldo and Sancho as a front three um, probably Sancho on the left and, and Rashford on the right and that's what he's told me is happening but I would have thought that maybe Alanga would start but then I guess Rashford was fully rested I, I could see Alanga starting over Rashford I could see also Shaw starting over Tellez Lindelof's been really really good lately but we just won't drop Maguire but I've been sent that lineup, and it's quite believable but I, I still feel like Shaw and Alanga could start over Tellers and Rashford so what would your thoughts be on that lineup? like let me know down below let me know your score predictions down below I think we're going to win this game and I actually think we're going to win this game 2-0 2-0 I, I think we'll score I think we're going to go in nice into the second leg you know Man United away from home I know I, I have this feel feeling and look Atletico Madrid, they, they are a difficult team to break down, but they haven't been playing well. And Manchester United seem to gift teams points that haven't been playing well at the moment. Uh, they, you know, Leeds play into our hands because they give us a lot of space. And, you know, we see what Sancho can do with the space versus Leeds versus Middlesbrough. You know, it's going to be a difficult game, but apparently Suarez and Griezmann like, won't be in the starting eleven. I've heard for Atletico Madrid, they've got a few injury problems. So maybe this game is coming at the right time. Obviously, I know that they won a trophy last season. I know they're a good side. And, and don't take this as me disrespecting Simona off Atletico Madrid. But, you know, La Liga isn't where it used to be. They're not where they used to be. I mean, we're not where we used to be. You know, we used to be winning it. But I feel like we can win. But do let me know your score prediction, prediction down below. But I just think we were awful in the Champions League group stage. And we just ended up winning those games because we had that quality. We had Cristiano Ronaldo. And Ronaldo, this is this is a crazy stat. So don't you dare disrespect Ronaldo, even at 37. In 35 matches against Atletico Madrid, he has 30 goal involvements. He has 25 goals and five assists in 30 games against Atletico Madrid, including four hat-tricks. So CR7 hat-trick in man. It's destined for Ronaldo to score tomorrow. I actually feel like it's destined. Ronaldo's doing his dressing room speech. He's going to be motivating everyone to be up, to be pumped for this game. And I feel like it's just destined for a Ronaldo boom. And a final thing before I end this video, but guys, are, I swear, are you getting really excited by all the pictures? All the pictures of us in training, the Sancho. I, I just love the Champions League pictures. I am so hyped for tomorrow. I will be live tomorrow for a watch along. So do make sure you subscribe. Smash a like, smash a share. See you tomorrow in my live stream. Bye.